These are some of the tools that I use for this job. The only specialty tool I really needed was this snap-on thin wrench. It was uh, 19 mm on one side and 17 mm on the other. I just happen to have this wrench. If you don't, just get a 17 millimeter and grind it down with a grinder. I got the pads from Amazon. The kit comes with the pads, uh, these new clips, as well as a little bit of grease. Take a look at the pads closely. There's two different types. One has a little bulb protrusion in the middle, one doesn't. The one with the bulb protrusion goes on the piston side of the caliper. I installed these wrong. I put two of the same pads on one side and two of the other pads on the other. And I ended up doing this job twice, so please don't make that mistake. I bought the ABS sensor from Napa. Once you got the car up and the wheels off, take a little bit of brake fluid out of the brake fluid reservoir so that it's easier to compress the piston. This is the passenger side front wheel. I'm taking off the caliper with that thin wrench. Um, you have to hold that nut on the inside while you take out the caliper bolt. Be sure to hang the caliper by a wire so it's not dangling by the hose. I've already taken out the old clips from the caliper carriage. Uh, now the new clips are going in. Put a tiny amount of grease on the ears of the pads where they sit on these metal clips. This is where I put the wrong pad on the caliper. Please don't make this mistake. Put an old pad on the piston in the caliper. I use a C-clamp to squeeze it in. But don't squeeze it in too much. Just squeeze it in just enough to get it over these new pads. So put a tiny amount of grease on the piston and the caliper where it touches the pads. Then I applied Loctite on the bolts for the caliper and tied them up. I've read that you should be using new caliper bolts here, um, so use your best judgment. The driver's side was a little bit more difficult for me because I had a difficult time getting the ABS sensor out. It's seen here right in the middle of this caliper. To remove the sensor, you need to loosen up the inner fender well liner. Here's where the connection for the ABS sensor is right behind all this crap. You'll also see these rubber clips that are attached to the sensor. You just kind of pull them off. On this side, I found that I couldn't take the sensor off without taking off the caliper, and I couldn't get the caliper off without taking off the caliper carriage. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm taking off the bolts holding the carriage on. That is the, the metal piece that holds the caliper itself. You may also notice that I didn't change the rotors. I didn't cut them. Uh, they were in decent shape and this is my wife's car. She's not an aggressive driver. Uh, probably will replace the rotors next time I do the brakes. Here's the carriage. I'm taking off the old clips and putting on the new clips. Here's a side-by-side -side view of the old ABS sensor next to the new sensor.
again. Here's the wrong pad going in on the caliper. I found it easier to reconnect the ABS sensor by going from underneath the car here as long as you can get this fender liner out of the way you get this uh, white connector it just pushes in you just got to get it faced the right way and then it gets, gets stuck into a clip Don't forget to dump off your brake fluid and reset the computer. I thought this was a pretty typical brake job. Uh, just remember to take your time. Good luck guys. Mm -hmm.